Alrighty, so we're gonna move on with um, your first like review packet. Looks like this. And the next page, we're getting right to the end here. So same like the last one, um, I'm not gonna show you the answers to all of them. I'm just gonna go through one um, or maybe two. Um, and then we will, um, you can take a look and see if you've done the first couple so far correctly and try them on your own. And then if you have any trouble, message me. So this question says, solve each problem by working from left to right. So left, right, make an L with your hand, it starts over here. Um, and then to right is the same way that we read. When you finish a problem, locate the answer in a box below, then write the letter above the answer. If the answer appears in more than one box, fill in each one with the same letter. Okay, so for example, like if you get the, the answer 44, we have two boxes with it, so we'll put that letter in both. All right, so the first question says take 48, so I'll write down 48, and multiply by eight, 48 times eight. Um, then we're gonna subtract 64 and divide by four. But before we do, we write down this whole equation, I'm just gonna do one step at a time. So 48 times eight. I'll use the area model. So we have 48, oops, not 48. We're gonna write that as 40 plus eight. And I can think of, you can imagine, um, eight rows of squares, each with 48 squares in them. Okay, so if I have eight rows of 40, eight times 40, well, eight times four is 32, multiply by 10, so touch a zero, 320. Eight times eight is 64. And then I'll add those two things up. Notice I'm doing this on a separate piece of paper. You should be too. You can do it in your notebook or any, any scrap paper. There's not enough space on the page to do all this stuff. So you should be adding using the standard algorithm. So you line up your digits on top of each other. Some of you are doing the thing where you're like 300 plus 20 plus 60 plus four. It's not wrong, but it's just inefficient and I'd like you to move to the standard algorithm if you haven't been doing that already. So I added zero plus four is four, two plus six is eight, and then um, 300. So now I have um, 48 multiplied by eight. I need to subtract 64. So 300, again, I'm not gonna like just mush it onto here. I'll rewrite the problem where I have enough space. 384 minus 64. So take four away from four is zero. Eight minus six is two and three. Same with um, the standard algorithm for, multiple, uh, for addition. You should be using the standard algorithm for subtraction too. Not doing like 38, 384, minus 60, minus four or anything like that. So now we have 320 and I'm gonna divide by four. Some of you might see right away, there's a math fact here. 32 divided by four is 80. Or sorry, 32 divided by four is eight. So 320 divided by four is 80. But if you didn't see that right away, then you could always use the big seven. 320 divided by four. So I would do, hmm, let's see. 44 times 50 is 200. And then I would have 120 left. Four times 20 is 100. And four times five. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, four times 20 is in 100. That's funny. Four times 25 is 100. So hopefully you guys would have caught that mistake while you were watching too. Um, and then four times five is 20 and that's all. And so the answer here is 50 plus 25 is 75 plus five is 80. Okay, so then I've done all the parts, right? I multiplied I took 48 and multiplied by eight, I took away 64, I divided by four, I got 80. Now I look here and see if I find 80 in the bottom. If I didn't, it means there's a mistake and I need to stop and fix it. So then you have to go back to your work, check that you actually copied the, the numbers correctly, 
check that you did your simple multiplication facts correctly, all that jazz. If you cannot find your mistake, message me, call me, send me a picture of your page, um, whatever works. I can always help you, but I want you to try to find your own mistakes. And we'll do one more. So this one says take 408. So again, I'm gonna start on a new spot. Give yourself enough space. Hopefully you have enough paper. <clears throat> if not, message me and I can help you. So we'll do 408 and then we have to add 72. So 408 plus 72. Eight plus two is 10. Put down the zero in the ones place. Regroup the tens. One plus seven is eight. So 480. Now divide by five. So 480 divided by five. Well, I know 45 is close to 48 and that would be five times nine. So five times 90 is 450. Using those math facts again, make sure you're practicing on reflex. Then I'm left with 30 and five times six is 30. So my answer is 96. Okay, so I added 72, I divided by five. I need to now subtract 19. So I take 70, uh, 96 and I subtract 19. I have to regroup from the tens and make it eight tens and make that 16 one. 16 minus nine is seven. And then eight minus one is seven. So I get the answer 77. Now I double check down here. Do I have 77? Yes, I do. So that means my answer is probably correct. So keep going on the rest of these on your own. And just like I've said a hundred times, message me if you don't get the answer is correct or you can't find a mistake if you've made one. Great job, everybody.